three minute trader tip, three key steps to put you in the optimum trading state. We need to check in on our potential trading state before you even start to look at the market as your first task in the trading day. Logically, there are advantage, of course, of making decisions when you're in an optimum state to do this. If one interacts with the market and this is not the case, then consistent and constructive actions may be more difficult than they should be. It may be more difficult to follow your plan. It may be more difficult to do the things you need to. And of course, quite often, it may be that there are things going on in your non-trading world that are significant enough to be a justifiable distraction and require attention. Or, of course, you're not in the best of health. Just remember the markets will always be there. There are times when it's good to trade and times when you should give yourself permission not to. Number two is to realign with your trading purpose and plan at the start of your trading day. Your trading purpose, or your reason for trading, is your start point for developing strategies that are consistent with your trading objectives. And of course, your trading plan is your guide in making this purpose happen and making sure you adhere to the things that you should be doing on both entry and exit. Every trading decision should relate to these. And without these in place, traders are thought to have a lesser chance of creating the trading outcomes they desire. In the heat of the market, unless you're in the right place, it's easy to get sucked into price action of open trades as you see your trading capital move up and down. So the solution to this is clear. You need to realign with your purpose, have a quick glance at your trading plan, because what that does is it puts you in the right zone that you need to be in to be in the optimum state to make decisions. Number three is to make a judgment on what to expect because every day the market throws up different challenges, different price movements, volatility, new economic information and all of this influences overall market sentiment and of course the risks that may be present going forward in that trading day. Advanced traders take the time to make that overview judgment on what's going on, what's really happening and adjust decisions on the time frames you traded, the risk level you've taken, or which strategies are actually going to trade, and which strategies may not suit current market conditions. For example, the concept of adjusted risk level according to the strength of the signal or underlying market conditions is possibly a good place to start. If our norm is 1% risk of our account balance as a position size, we may adjust this downwards if conditions are deemed to be riskier. So, of course, having such a system to make such a judgment prior to trading allows this sort of approach to be taken, an undoubted potential attribute of the experienced trader. Of course, there are resources to help you create this story, which we've talked about on other videos. But what you need to do is make sure that you have those resources, make sure you look at them and make a judgment on what you think the market state is for that day. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.